Hello, in this video we will discuss about the dorsal column, uh, medial lamniscus pathway. And we will also understand the body balance, proprioception pathway as well as the pain pathway. So first of all we will discuss about the dorsal column medial lamniscus pathway. So here is we will recap the uh, spinal cord cross section. So here is the sensory neurons and motor neuron in the form of sensory ganglion in the dorsal and ventral. So the ventral roots used for the motor neuron uh, to uh, away from the uh, central nervous system while toward the nervous system is the central nervous system is the dor dorsal root of ganglion for sensory reception. Uh, sensory information. So here is the dorsal column. This dorsal col column is contain a fasciculus cuneatus uh, lateral which that is the blue color while the red color is the fasciculus gracilis which that is used for the fasciculus gracilis is used for the touch pressure vibration and proprioception. So this mean is uh, basically is a dorsal column. Dorsal column is very important and quick response. So it is the fast than the lateral and ventral pathway. So here is the brain. This brain cross section we will discuss about the cerebral cortex. The cerebral cortex is basically is the two hemisphere, left and right, and the brain stem and the spinal cord as well as the cerebellum. Cerebellum is used for the balance and other things for the control. So let's begin to understand here is the cross section of the brain which contain a thalamus. This thalamus is the relay pathway which that's all pathway will be relay in this uh, thalamus ventral posterior posterior lateral nucleus. It is contain ventral posterior lateral nucleus in the thalamus which that is um, the central pathway. So here is the primary somatosensory cortex and the post central gyrus in parietal lobe are present. This parietal lobe, for example, the parietal lobe contain opposed central gyrus. So, important thing is that here I am drawing the different cross section of the brain stem for the midbrain, pons, medulla. This midbrain and pons and medulla which that is important for the sensory reception. So, here is a nucleus uh, basically here is the nucleus gracilis and here is the nucleus cuneatus and nucleus gracilis are present in the medulla. So this nucleus is used for the sensory pathway to ascending pathway, ascending neuron, second order neuron. So here is the brain, set, brain stem which contain a midbrain, pons and medulla. And here is a medial lamniscus uh, pathway from here medial lamniscus nucleus are present here so here is the spinal cord cross section of the different region for example the cervical spinal cord and the lumbar spinal cord so the cervical spinal cord are present in the cervical region which contain a both fa fasciculus cu cu gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus and inside is the gray matter so the white matter contain a gray, gracilis and cuneatus and the white matter is here and the and the cervical region contain both fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus pathway while the lumbar spinal cord contain just only fasciculus gracilis so it is the spinal cord and it means so remember about that it is used for the sensory information so let's begin to understand the sensory information so the touch Pressure vibration is used by the Merkel cell first. So the important thing is that it is a sensory information received by the Merkel cell of any ending and mesenial corpuscles as well as parsenial corpuscles. So corpuscles is used for the nerve ending. So this is nerve ending. For example, hand. For example, hand. This hand is a basically uh, right side of the hand which used for the touch, pressure, vibration and Merkel cell uh, used by uh, uh, fire, touch, pressure and vibration. It is touch and pressure is uh, received by the Merkel cell. This Merkel cell is the slightly touch and that is why that nerve ending are present in the uh, skin area near to the epidermis. 
so this is the first order neuron which that is receive the sensory information toward the dorsal column uh, toward the dorsal horn of the uh, horn of the ganglion which that is used for the sensory neurons and this information we transmit on the other hand the raffini ending is used for the uh, um, higher pressure it means the higher pressure but touch is used for the merkel cell but the raffini ending is used for the pressure and the messinger corpuscle it is used for the tapping and flutter that is why it is present in the near to the epidermis of the skin and on the other hand the one more thing is that the pacinier corpuscle is used for the vibration sensation of vibration so this sensation of vibration these corpuscles are below the epidermis it is the deep why because the vibration detection is easy as compared to the touch so here is for example the feet which that is uh, get the signal from the lumbar spinal cord and it is only fasciculus gracilis is used for it so that is why it is a fasciculus fasciculus gracilis is used for the uh, lumbar spinal lumbar region for example the feet while the hand is used both so uh, hand is used for the uh, not both but the uh, another is known as the uh, fasciculus cuneatus so here is the sensory information from the first order neuron which the dorsal horn of the gray matter uh, to the dorsal column tract which that is the second order neuron receive this signals receive this information and this information is uh, carry from the fasciculus cuneatus and this go into the medulla and this medulla here is the nucleus of the cuneatus this nucleus of the cuneatus will transmit this neuron to the uh, midline uh, nucleus which that is transmit further into the medial laminiscus so that is why it is known as the medial laminiscus pathway so the medial laminiscus of the pon this pons is basically medial laminiscus pathway which that transmit or carry the information toward the midbrain and this midbrain basically is contain a uh, uh, medial laminiscus pathway so the medial laminiscus nucleus which that is further go into the thalamus nucleus ventral posterior lateral nucleus and this is the relay pathway and after this the sensation of the pain which that is the different region for example hand as well as the shoulder on the other hand the one more thing is important is the head region while on the other hand important thing is that the lumbar spinal cord will sense the uh, sensory information from the feet so that means the feet leg uh, so the lower lumbar region which that is transmit through the fasciculus gracilis inside is a blue color uh, red color shows and the, on the figure so the dorsal horn of the gray matter which that is transmit the second order neuron toward the nucleus gracilis and this nucleus gracilis will be integrate and move to the upper part of the midbrain which that is the nucleus gracilis a uh, nucleus gracilis pathway so this is basically the nucleus gracilis it is the medial laminiscus pathway so that means the uh, it is not medial laminiscus uh here you can see here that is the uh sensor somatosensory cord as we we'll detect it so i hope you make sense the lumbar spinal cord which contain a fasciculus gracilis while the cervical spinal cord contain a fasciculus gracilis and fasciculus cuneatus both while let's begin to understand the balance of the body so, so the proprioception pathway so here i am drawing the brain again to cross section to understand the uh, thalamus here uh, you can see here is the uh, cross section of the brain which contain a thalamus as well as the uh, 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 brain stem cross section as well as spinal cord so this is the cervical cross section cervical path uh, cervical uh, spinal cord so thalamus is contain ventral posterior lateral nucleus 
so here is the midbrain pons and medulla this is the brain stem and the somatosensory cortex is used for the sensory information from the different region of the body for example hand head eyes lips etc so here is the uh, cervical spinal cord so remember about that this is the here is the nucleus cuneatus so this nucleus cuneatus and the medial laminiscus tract are here the medial laminiscus tract this medial laminiscus tract transmit the neurons move the action potential of the neuron toward the somatosensory cortex in with the passing with the midbrain so this was the posterior posterior septor uh, proprioception is change muscle tendon and length so this is here is you can see the muscle spindle stretch as well as the golgi tendon this golgi tendon is uh, bind with the sensory re receptor sensory information so this is basically is the muscle spindle stretching and relaxation which that is cause the balance so in this way here is the pathway which that is the dorsal horn of the gray matter which that transmit the nucleus cuneatus to the uh, central nucleus uh, uh, of the medulla and the spons is basically midline to the uh, go into the medial laminiscus tract so again medial laminiscus tract to the midbrain and that is a sensory uh, pathway by, by the ventral posterior lateral nucleus of the thalamus which that is the center relay a relay pathway so this way will be sensation while on the other hand the pain pathway is the different this pain pathway is the nociceptors this nociceptor are present here is the uh, brain this is the brain which contain a hypothalamus uh, is the posterior lateral nucleus while here is the left somatosensory cortex and right somatosensory cortex and here is the midbrain and here pon and medulla again so this is the here is the nucleus raphi magnus this nucleus raphi magnus is important for the pain reception so here is the spinal cord of the different region so anterior spinothalamic tract this anterior spinothalamic tract is used for the pain so let's begin to understand the for example here the needle which that is cause the left hand to injury which that is uh, basically uh, produce the uh, this produce the inflamed cell this inflamed cell produce the prostaglandin this prostaglandin different inflamed cell for example the uh, lymphocyte etc so this is prostaglandin will be detected by the uh, uh, sensory neurons it is the first order neuron which that is the dorsal horn of the gray matter to the uh, uh, with the second order neuron green color shows that is the uh, anterior tract and this is the basically uh, spinal cord and spinothalamic tract the spinothalamic tract will transmit the second order neuron to the nucleus raphi magnus and sorry not nucleus uh, it is the anterior spinothalamic tract and it means the ascending way to move upward is the ascending pathway so this ascending pathway is um, is passing with the thalamus posterior lateral nucleus to the sensation of pain from the different area by a third order neuron of the right somatosensory cortex so that means the left hand which that is protected by the right uh, somatosensory cortex while the left is the protect uh, left is sensed by the right somatosensory cortex so here is the pre aqueductal gray matter which that it receive the descending pathway which that is was the descending pathway was the ascending but here is the descending pathway which that is the second order neuron will uh, where the synapse is occur for the sensory neuron so this synapse will produce the uh, substance p substance p is the neurotransmitter for pain so it means the substance p is uh, as a neurotransmitter 
so this is the descending pathway the second order neuron release the serotonin and our adrenaline from the serotonergic hormone uh, uh, near nerves as well as noradrenergic nerves so this is basically uh, release the serotonin and noradrenaline which that is bind with the uh, nerves and uh, bind with the nerve receptor to inhibit the production of substance p for the detection of the pain and on the other hand the other cell is the e, uh, encephaline is the opioid which that is produced from the uh, cells nerve cells and these cells produce uh, opioid which that is inhibit the action potential of the second order neuron and the inhibit the production of the substance p so that means this is the first order neuron is the presynaptic will be inhibited by the opioid opioid so this mean this is the uh, inhibitory uh, steps for the pain pathway so the pain pathway will be continuously uh, uh, firing the nerve fiber and this nerve fiber will be continuously firing to create the pain but in the descending uh, or a neuron with the descending pathway of the peri aqueductal gray matter which that is involved for the descending pathway so this was was the descending pathway which that is inhibited the p substance p which that is basically uh, pain inhibition so this mechanism is the pain inhib inhibition so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share ask the question for answer and comment about the artwork